Hey guys, Sudith here again for another part of our Dark Souls 3 Let's Play slash tutorial. Unfortunately, between the part where I just ended and now, I messed up the recording, so you guys won't see the items in the unattended graves. I will tell you what they are and where you can get them, but I won't actually be showing you the items themselves because I already grabbed them, unfortunately. I also killed the NPC invader and began a fight with Gundyr. So if you come over here, there's a, a bunch of Corvians on your grave. What was your grave? Because Dark Fire Link is, um, or I guess what will be your grave, because this is in the past. That or a distant future. So there's going to be a, a Grave Warden here, and there's another Grave Warden around the corner. You're going to want to take care of these guys. If you try to run from them, they'll chase you down, and uh, their twin blades are really good at roll catching. So if you're trying to panic roll away from them, they'll, they'll catch you like every time. What? Weird. Did you guys see that? I got the backstab stab from the front. And then over down that path, there's two ravenous crystal lizards that drop two scales each, but I already killed them as well. So, unfortunately, you guys won't get to see that either, but um, that's basically all the items in the graves. There's not much here. The more of it uh, lies beyond the boss, and you can see my blood stain there when I realized what was wrong. Um, so we're going to go back and we're going to try to do this fight. I will be attempting to parry Gundyr to death. Champion Gundyr is a bit more difficult. That's the Swordmaster right there. We might get hit as we come through. Nope. Um, Champion Gundyr is a bit more difficult, so we'll see how that goes. Mainly his uh, attacks with his hands are the difficult ones. We should have two-handed the Bastard Sword there. And you can also get an R2 in before you repose, so we'll start doing that. Uh, we weren't quite quick enough for the repose. All right, then we'll do an R1 and then a repose. There we go, guys. That's optimal. I thought maybe we could get the R2 in. Looks like the Bastard Sword's a little too slow. Oh, we got the partial on that one, guys. That's the hardest move he has to parry. Most people in PvP will use that to try to catch you up uh, whenever you've rolled or been knocked down. We should have healed there, so we could have got the Lloyd Sword Ring buff. We're not going to contest his physicals. We will do this, though. Once again, I didn't R1 him. Sorry, guys. I'm a bit in the moment. Uh, I'll try to be more conscious. Like that. And that should be the dead gun deer. Hey, good fight. Uh, we got that partial parry, but man, excellent. Wonderful. That's great. Now, if you guys are fighting champion gun deer, I wouldn't recommend only parrying him, but I find rolling him to be very panic-inducing for me. He's very foreboding and looming. I don't like rolling Gundir. He scares me. Um, I much prefer to just stand in front of him and parry him. There's what's in probably, in my opinion, the second best halberd in the game. I think you have to give it to Split Leaf, but Black Knight Glaive is pretty sweet. I have a soft spot in uh, my heart for BKH. Because that's what I used to do uh, speedruns for all bosses in DS1 with. I love BKH. It's a great weapon, so if you haven't decided on a weapon, and you're doing a little bit more of a quality build, just just use the Black Knight Glaive. It's so cool. Now, we're going to come up here and go through Dark Fire Link as well before I end this episode, because there's an item in here I've really been dying for. And astute watchers probably know with my constant purchasing of Homeward Bones what I'm here for. We'll also have a shot to get the Black Knight weapons here. Um, you can farm these Black Knights. I will kill, if you're the one with the axe, you are not the one with the axe. Oh, you are. We'll kill the one with the axe, guys. Because I, oh, we didn't get it from the one in Smoldering Lake. Come on, swing. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, that's fine, buddy. Uh, we do want this axe. I love this axe. This axe is like the anti-gank axe, I'm telling you guys. If you want to get into PvP, and you want to take on like three people at once, you got to get yourself this axe. Oh my goodness! <laughs> the greatsword one, one just uh, snuck up on me out of absolutely nowhere. Holy shit. Oh, he dropped something, guys. I'd be alright with the shield as well. I guess the chest plate wouldn't be bad either. Honestly, uh, any of the drops are fine. Probably like gloves would be the least nice, or the pants. Come on, just let me backstab you. I don't want to have to run. There it is. Alright, what is this? 
Ah, gauntlets. I mean... They're fine. They give us more poison while we're wearing, so we might as well put them on. Man, no axe. That's fine, but you can uh, farm all the Black Knight weapons here. And I'll show you everything around here, so we'll end up fighting all the Black Knights. But first, we're going to go into Dark Fire Link. This is what I came for. All right. Let's let this lady talk. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? All right, so she's going to sell a ring that will increase your faith by five. She'll also sell that other ring that I've been meaning to buy, so we'll just pick that up. And she'll sell Artorius' armor and chicken legs. As well as two unique embers. Uh, I'll buy this ring. It's only a thousand. Best. And then this is where you can get the blacksmith hammer. Then if you come this way, where Arena of Kareem normally is, there's going to be a secret over here. Firekeeper eyes. And that might clue you into what ending we're going to be doing. We're going to be kidding the firekeeper out with all the stuff we can and then aligning with her. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Alright, sorry about that. I got so distracted by sneezing I ran the wrong way. <laughs> we'll go this way instead. I'm just going to open this up. Oh, I won't open unless the one in the mirror world's open. That's fine. We'll do a first try tree jump here. So I, I don't want to run around the front like a peasant. We're going to go up top. We also want that. But we're going to look up here. I don't believe there's extra Titanite lizards. In fact, there may be a Black Knight if we're unlucky, but... Nah, there's nothing up here. Alright. Then we'll run along here. Chaos Blade. And that's going to be it for Dark Firelink. We're going to go back to Firelink Shrine. Now we have the emote to be able to access the dragon area if we go from the profaned capital. But, um... Let me pick any key items up. The key for the uh, the top. I'll show you guys that. Ooh, we will use our levels first because Patches is going to try to Welcome trick us up there. Very well. Then, top hake no. then we'll give her the eyes and the soul at the same time. I'll let you guys hear that more in the episode. I'm going to do more strength. Farewell, Ashley. We are going to have a seed of a giant tree because we got invaded. You can use that to uh, turn all your enemies hostile to invaders. I don't know if I said that the first time I picked one up. You know what, guys? I've decided if we pick up random loot, we'll wear it at least until the next boss. But I won't guarantee wearing it any longer than that. Because this just looks way more stylish. Like, come on, look at this. We got fashion souls going on. We're going to go up. And if you pay attention to the game sound here, you can hear Patches close that door. Did you hear it? It's usually right when you pass the candles. We're going to come up here. Grab the firekeeper soul. In addition, we're going to come around here. Huh. Okay, never mind, guys. I thought there was an item here. Maybe I played a mod. Maybe Ascended had, a, had an item here. But there's not an item there, so never mind. But it is cool that you can go around the front and view Firelink Shrine like that. See, that's kind of nice. 
Now we'll go back down and have some dialogue with Patches. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Alright guys, so we have the Silver Cavern. This means nothing to us. I'm going to show you exactly how to get onto this platform. You're going to come up to this, these first two rocks here. You're going to face the front. It's kind of, kind of tricky. And then you're just going to back step. If you do any other action, you have a decent shot of being catapulted off, and even with your cat ring, you'll die. But there's where we got some Firekeeper clothes. Here's where we'll get a ring that'll make our Estus stronger. It's a decent ring to use if you're being summoned, or if you're invading people. Um, because as you know, you have less Estus, so you want your Estus to work uh, more for you. Hmm... Yeah, I can get you guys to the dragon area. But do we want to do that area next? Or is it about time we do Aldrich? We'll save the dragon area. So I'll head back to In Orlando. Actually, wait. We're going to have a dialogue with Patches. Then I will head back to In Orlando. This sneaky rat. But he sells buffs, so we're not that mad at him. Ah, oh, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll oh, come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible, really. But I can see you'll forgive me. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm... No. <laughs> Oops. You're supposed to not forgive him there, guys. I was spamming, so I missed out on the emote. <laughs> That's okay, but he sells human pine resin, which oh. is pretty sweet. Can we survive this drop? No. <laughs> no, we cannot. Definitely this one, though. All right, then let's head to A and Orlando. Um, I will end the episode, and then the very next time we will pick up Killing Aldrich. Alright guys, so we're back here to Orlando. We're going to tackle another Lord of Cinder in the next episode. We'll be heading in there to fight Aldrich. Aldrich, um, I don't know. I would probably say he's the second hardest Lord. Harder than the Abyss Watchers and harder than Yorm because of his gimmick. Uh, mainly just because of his magic damage, but we should be fine. We know how to roll. So I will be seeing you guys in the next part right here.